Occupy Wall Street protesters declared victory after thousands of demonstrators shut down one of America's busiest shipping ports late on Wednesday. Their actions escalated a movement whose tactics had largely been limited to marches, rallies and tent encampments since it began in September. The nearly five-hour protest at the port of Oakland, America's fifth busiest shipping port, was intended to highlight a day-long general strike in the city, which prompted solidarity rallies in New York, Los Angeles and other cities across the nation. Police estimated that a crowd of about 3,000 had gathered at the port at the height of the demonstration around dusk on Wednesday. Some had marched from the city's downtown, while others had been bussed into the port. The protest right now, Occupy Wall Street, is basically um, it's, it's taking back what is ours in America, what we've earned and what it deserves us. We have basically put into this country and we deserve to get back what we've put into it. So uh, there's people who are trying to prevent that and we're here to confront them and say no, that we were taking back our world. This is basically saying, look, the people are in charge here. You have to change course and you have to start doing stuff that actually takes care of people. The crowd included students, families with young children and many people wearing labor union t-shirts. Shut down the 1%, we are the 99%, they chanted. The demonstration in Oakland was largely peaceful, and police said there were no arrests. The crowd disrupted operations by overwhelming the area with people and blocking exits with chain-link fencing and illegally parked vehicles. The demonstrators also created fences to block main streets to the port. A port spokesman said evening operations had been effectively shut down. Port officials later released a statement saying that maritime activity would be cancelled indefinitely, but they hoped to resume work on Thursday. Oakland organizers said that they targeted the port because they want to stop the flow of capital.